Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back on Forza Horizon 5 to check out the brand new vehicle that has been added, the Subaru WRX 2022 version. Uh, a Subaru that has been uh, requested for quite some time now because it is somewhat popular at the same time also not being very popular at all. Um, but it is, unfortunately, the last Subaru WRX, at least with an engine, that will be made by Subaru ever again. So I'm really interested in the customizations for this vehicle because we do not have an STI variant. So what type of customizations are we going to get with this vehicle? Um, first of all, just letting you know, you can do engine swaps, very obviously. Um, you can do a drivetrain swap, of course, make it rear wheel drive. Um, and then let's go over to the parts and, um, aero and stuff like that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Ah. I've seen that logo before. I think I actually follow their YouTube channel. Uh, Aeroflow, yeah, 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 Aeroflow Dynamics. I, I'm not, I'm familiar with their channel. I, I, I used to watch their channel for their Hyundai Elantra N um, customizations and stuff like that. But uh, ever since they kind of like, you know, moved away from that and gone to doing Subarus and stuff, I haven't really kept up with that channel. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. They got their uh, body designs up in here. That's uh, pretty sick. Um, but yeah, we got the little splitter right here from Aeroflow Dynamics, and then we have the normal standard Forza bumper. Um, personally, I think I might actually leave... Mm, uh, you know what? It's, it doesn't look too bad, I guess, even though we are going to be doing an off-road build. Um, oh, now this is going to be very interesting, and it does seem like we might not get this option. But um, because this is not the STI version of the WRX, um, I do not think we'll be getting an STI wing. Okay, they got a nice little lip spoiler. I can uh, I can agree with that. All right, the spoiler um, doesn't look too bad. Um, I I think it'd be good for a street version or a street build. Uh, obviously we're not doing a street build, we're doing a off-roading build, so it's probably not going to work in our best interest. And then we have the typical Forza Horizon bump, or uh, spoiler. Um, honestly, I'll probably take the lip spoiler. Uh, does it actually do anything? Okay, the Forza wing actually does us something, uh, we're not actually getting any downforce from the lip spoiler, but you know, sometimes you just gotta sacrifice the performance for a good looking vehicle. Um, next up, we do have a uh, back bumper option, probably a splitter, back splitter, maybe. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay. Um, all right, it's not too bad. Uh, I don't know if I'm liking it though. Again, um, the parts are okay, but they're uh, kind of set up for like a like a street version or street build, and we're not really doing a street build here, so um, no, no, I will just leave those off. We do have side skirts. Okay, I can actually deal with that. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Again, though, um, street build, street build. We're doing an off-roading build with the Subaru. It is a Subaru, and Subaru go off-road. Obviously, we're going to be putting on some off-roading wheels here. Or really, um, yeah, 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 let's put the rally, the rally wheels on here. Uh, when the tires on there, um, let's see now. Obviously, this is a Subaru, we gotta do some gold wheels. However, though, that might actually get covered up, um, once we get to the Atasha wraps. Which, um, I hope there are Atasha wraps for this vehicle. This vehicle is fresh and brand new, but um, we do have some good looking wheels right here. The Koenigs, oh, yeah, it looks pretty good again, though. That gold or bronze might get covered up, but still, though, I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, starting off here, looking at some of the liveries. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm seeing a lot of the 
liveries for um, the rally racing for Subaru. Very nice. I do see an Itasha livery there. I don't know who that character is. It looks like a Hollow Live character, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, we do have another anime character. Again, don't know who this character is. I am finding that I am coming across more anime characters that I just do not know. I do know this one. I think this particular character is actually like a mobile game character, if I'm right. Um, but yeah, I am coming across a lot of um, characters um, that I don't really know. Um, you know, I'm actually go for this rap. It is on the wrong car, sure, but um, the rap is still pretty good. The rap is still pretty good. I think it's supposed to go on the older, older Subaru, but um, putting this on the newer Subaru kind of gives it a little bit of a, a twist and a um, you know, what if kind of situation if this was uh, a game that came out today and this rap would have came out you know probably on this car that doesn't look too bad look at that um, if you don't know um, Street Racing Syndicate it's an old old uh, Need for Speed ish type of game I'm pretty sure you've seen a couple of content creators cover it and say it's a game you never heard of before well, it's a game I've heard of before. In fact, I still have the physical copy for the PC version of this game. And it's an okay game, but if you've actually played the game, you'd know that it just kind of looks like a Need for Speed slash Fast and Furious clone. Um, that's just, you know, just trying to, you know, get some money and popularity off of what was popular at the time. Um, but yeah, uh, Street Racing Syndicate livery with a uh, character I do not know. And I've tried looking up this character many, many, many times. Especially on Street Racing Syndicate. There are other characters in that game too that you can put on the sides of your vehicle. Um, I just don't know where they come from. I, I don't know. I've, I get, maybe they're just OCs? I don't know. It is a Namco game. So, I don't know. I'm, I've been thinking maybe they might be like Namco characters from a different game uh, plastered on the side of the car um, to this day I still don't know I, I still just don't I don't know but yeah anyways though uh, Subaru WRX uh, with a street racing syndicate uh, tribute livery pretty nice pretty nice we don't have the characters name who's on the side but um, I think this livery is um pretty good Pretty good. And all the other liveries, personally, I'm just not feeling. So, yeah, we're going with this livery right here. Alright, here we go. Subaru going up some other rally legends. Like the Evo, which we did actually do an Evo in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. Um, that Evo actually performs pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, we are out here driving the WRX the way it should be driven, and um, it's doing okay. It's not doing. It's not the best, but um, you know, it's you know, it's getting there though. It's getting there. Um, again, like I said, this is not the STI variant, and there is no STI variant for this current generation. So, um. Yeah, this is all we got, guys. This is all we got. But, um, interestingly enough, I did actually find out. Um, there is actually a Subaru STI in this generation of Subaru. However, it's only in Japan, and while it is called a STI, it doesn't really carry any of the performance features that you would find in an STI. In fact, in all honesty, it feels like Subaru, at least in the Japanese market, have just slapped the STI badge on the normal WRX Subaru and um, you know just you know called it an STI which it's just not um, I believe that version of the vehicle actually even comes only comes with a uh, CVT transmission which is um, not very uh, STI like I have to say um, <laughs> it's, it's really not a good look at all in any way but, um, you know, it's just just how things are right now, I guess. The next STI that we get will most likely be some electric car or something that nobody wants that Subaru will hype up everybody to say, Oh, this is really cool. This is awesome. No, nobody wants that. Nobody wants 
an electric off-roading Subaru. Okay? It's just... It's weird. It doesn't even... Like, why even... <laughs> in, in all honesty, like... Should we even really be even calling it a Subaru at that point? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. Car, car culture... At least with uh, new Japanese cars, um, seems to be uh, we seem to be getting into the dark ages here. It, it just doesn't look too good. I mean, at least Toyota is trying just a little bit with the Corolla, with the GR Corolla. But um, I mean, honestly, it's just not, just not going too well when it comes to uh, the car enthusiasts and uh, what we can get. As new cars, even though I did hear about the GR Corolla is actually <laughs> catching on fire, and uh, it, that's that's just a whole nother story. Which I wonder if they're ever going to add that vehicle into the game. I've been wondering. I know they added the GR Yaris, but um, are they willing to add the GR Corolla? That is a question I'm waiting to see. But uh, yeah, first place in this WRX. It's not completely uh, useless. Uh, it may not be a STI, but it still performs pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So um, yeah, despite it just being a WRX and not STI, um, at the end of the day, it's still a Subaru. Let's take it into another race here. All right, here we go. Another race with WRX, and we are off. Uh, so far, this vehicle. Um, it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Again, though, I really wish we could get that STI spoiler on the back. Like, it just feels so empty. I have seen posts and videos, you know, people actually putting old school STI wings on this version of the car, but I mean, I think even Subaru should at least, you know, provide some type of spoiler for this vehicle I mean come on it, it doesn't even look right without this spoiler but yeah you know it does just it just kind of sucks that we don't have an STI version of this vehicle but I mean hey you know this will probably be the last good Subaru there is so my I guess really buy it and then keep it because um you know this will be the last ST, this will be the last WRX with an actual engine. But yeah, so far, uh, vehicle is performing the way it should. Um, actually performing a little bit better, in my opinion, than the Evo I tried in the last video. Which is, um, I mean, it was okay, but it felt like it was lacking. But, uh, the Subaru is actually doing pretty good doing pretty good and it's not even fully upgraded it's a class 800 um, I believe if I probably put all the parts on here will probably be you know you know just a, a smidge behind a full s class vehicle but um yeah it's not doing it's not doing too bad it's doing pretty good actually again you just rise the suspension put some rally wheels on it in fact honestly even without the engine upgrade, just raise the suspension, rally wheels on it, and uh, you're all good to go with this vehicle. Yeah, no complaints from me here. This is a um, pretty solid vehicle overall. But uh, yeah, first place in the Subaru WRX. And there you go. Two races, first position in both. Not bad. But yeah, this is the 2022 Subaru WRX with a street racing syndicate livery on the vehicle. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. But that's all the time I have for today in this video. I hope to see you guys in my next one.